Uh, morning, David. Um, just on the, on the game on, on Wednesday, uh, you know, obviously a lot of pride for you to captain the side and and, uh, uh, and take charge of a team. OK, the result wasn't good, but there were a lot of positives to take from that night, certainly uh, from a lot of those youngsters who made their debuts. You've been there, you know exactly what that's like, uh, and you got to take charge of the side as well. Just just talk us through, you know, how, how good a night that was for you and, and those youngsters. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was um, obviously an unreal feeling. Um, being told I was going to um, captain the boys that night. Obviously, I was honoured and, and everything. But obviously, them games um, is such a big opportunity for um, everyone, even even the young boys as well, to showcase themselves, get given the opportunity to play. And obviously, yeah, I know, I know a few of them. Um, Lewis, um, he went to my school. Um, so, yeah, literally seeing all these young boys, age 16, 17, come on, play like that, how they did, perform like mm. that in the big stage is, is literally, it's inspiring because obviously we've all been, all been at that stage or whatever. So I, I could see it in their faces. They were, they were um, ecstatic and they deserve it because they're good players and they, they deserve to be here. So um, they can only push on from that and they're just going to carry on, hopefully improving and carry on making many more appearances. Yeah, there was, they played well. They, you know, they didn't. You know, the, the the occasion didn't seem to phase them. They they seemed to play well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, literally, they didn't really look out of depth. Um, you can see they had confidence mm. um, in, and in the way they were playing. And um, literally, we should we should have taken taken all three points from them, and obviously it would have been a better night for them um, due to their performances. But um, obviously, the result didn't go our way. But they can only keep their heads up, their heads high, and obviously it's only going to improve them in the future. Um, what one of the joys, David? You know, I've I've been watching MK Dons for, for, forever uh, since you, you uh, you know come to the club, and you, you've uh, you know you've developed um, so much from you know the younger years to now. To watch your development has been a, a real joy, and you know how does it feel for you? You know, you seem. Like you're always hungry to learn and hungry to uh, to improve. Um, your development in the last, say, twelve months has been has taken a bigger step. You know, it's moved on a little bit further. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm a young player who wants to learn and always improve. But um, it's all credit to the staff and the and the players because obviously in training every day, I'm getting help from everyone. I'm always taking information. All the, all the players are always helping me as well, the staff, Russ, um, even the manager I had before, Paul Tisdale as well, literally, and Russ and, this, and, and the current staff now, they've helped me a lot. They're always talking to me, they're always trying to make me, make me better and I'm just taking all the information and just hopefully I just carry on improving and working my way up. You're taking on all that information and you're, you're obviously developing with help from other people, but... That that can't happen unless you have the ability to do that and the and the desire f from within and that for me is all, it, all it, you can see it you can see it when you're when you're playing you you come across as a player who wants very much to learn who wants to develop yeah definitely because um, obviously early on I'm still early on in my career so I, I haven't done anything yet so obviously I, I need to keep taking in information I still need to work hard because at the end of the day. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done what I've, I've set out to do, and obviously, yeah, like I said, I'm early on, so literally, I've got so much more to learn. I've got um, so much room to improve as well. So I'm um, literally working hard is, is is the key to that. Every day in training, in the matches, play every game like it's your last. Because obviously, you don't, you don't know, you don't know what will happen. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying my football, and obviously. I'll keep on working hard in games and in training, and yeah. Um, you, along with every other member of the MK Don squad and the fans and everyone involved, just wants that away win. Uh, just wants to get that away win. It's been far too long. Does, is that something that that you're conscious of as players, or or you know you try and put it out of your mind because it's a, obviously a negative feeling? I mean, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say. We're conscious of it because every game we want to win, we want to get three points in every game, whether it's home or away. Um, obviously, away games sometimes can be tough or whatever, but um, I think we need to just put that at the back of our heads and go out on the field and 
literally give it give it one hundred percent. If we if we get all three points, which is what we aim to do, then fantastic. If not, then we look on to the next game and the next game after that. But um, yeah, um, every game literally we have the mentality to to win. So um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a, um, a conscious feeling now. And um, we're all quite curious at the beginning of the game, just what minute of the match you're going to get your yellow card in. Um, so <laughs> I was just wondering if you know this weekend when that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, a lot of people have been talking about me and um, bookings or whatever, but um, it's literally something that I, before the game, I don't really have it in my head. Um, it ha- if it happens, it happens. It's sort of, it feels like I'm kind of unlucky with the refs. One foul in, I'll get a, I'll get a booking straight away. Then I have to play the rest of the game with a yellow card. But um, obviously, it's not something. It's not ideal, but um, it's part of the game. Um, if, if I give if I foul someone, he books me. He books me. But um, from yeah, um, hopefully Saturday I don't get one. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you. Um, they took a picture of you on uh, on Wednesday night with all of the youngsters and the, all of the academy products, and um, it sort of took me back to that picture on the pitch at Newport all those years ago when um, when you made your debut. Did it make you make you feel like one of the elder statesmen uh, on Wednesday night when you were stood there with all the rest of the kids? Yeah, definitely. Because um, in that picture, I think I was like the second oldest um, next next to Laurie. So yeah, it, it does give me flashbacks to. All them years ago in Newport, you had George Williams, the, the other George Williams. You had a lot, a lot of well seniors at the time. Well, it felt like seniors to me at that time. So um, yeah, it does give me flashbacks, and it is a weird feeling. But um, yeah, it's something I take a lot of pride in, and yeah, it's only it's only a positive. Uh, David, you um, you know you often talk about looking to the senior players as as inspiration for your career. I mean, do you feel like you're the inspiration for the youngsters now? Um, well, definitely because I think um, the route I've taken from coming through the academy and um, making my debut at a young age like these lads did on Wednesday and then um, becoming a regular in the first team is what every academy player wants to do. So obviously I know um, all the younger lads will look, look at that and obviously want, want, to try and, want to try and achieve that and they can do that. All it needs is hard work. I spoke to some of them on Wednesday, literally um, after the game, they played well. You should tell them, you know, like, this, this could be more, this could be a regular thing, just keep working hard and working your way up. So um, I think, yeah, I will, I will be some, some, someone that, um, you know, that the new team players, the academy boys look at, but um, yeah, it's, it's something that they, they can achieve if they carry on working hard, taking information in and carrying on improving, yeah. Now, we obviously know that there's not going to be any fans at the stadium alike tomorrow, but I think in the game last year, you um, you certainly got their backs up at, at the stadium alike with a couple of fierce tackles. I mean, does it does it work in your favour when when you're almost that pantomime villain and does it give you a, a, a bit, bit more of an edge, do you think? Um, yeah, some, some games when it gets a bit rowdy, um, it is a bit risky because obviously, yeah... Um, I guess when, when the games are getting a bit rowdy, it can then build up emotions, which can be risky because obviously you can end up doing things through emotion and not um, using this. But um, I mean, I'm not someone who shies away from a physical battle. So um, regardless of whether there's fans in or not, I'm, I'm still going to go in hard and and I'm, I'm going strong. So um yeah. Nice one. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Dave.